Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? This is a continued series of uh, kind of intro to digital painting. I'm going to be using uh, Photoshop. Uh, if you missed the first video, I'll link it somewhere on the page. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using Photoshop. I'm going to be telling you exactly how I digital paint, you know, the, the things that maybe you need to get started. That's just I'm just going to tell you what I do pretty much. And this is also geared toward people who've never digital painted in their life. So if it's a really basic, I apologize, you know, but um, it's going to be super crazy, stupid basic, you know. So in this video, I'm going to go over the tools uh, that I use. And I only use a, ver a very few, you know, very frequently when I paint. And uh, one of those, the most important would be the brush tool. Let me, uh, one second, and the layers tool. But I'll go over that in a second. So the brush tool right here, go to the left. Honestly, I'll just press a hot key on the keyboard. Hot keys are you know kind of shortcuts instead of selecting it from wherever over here I will uh, or selecting it from the corner here over here I would literally just press the B key and it would go to that but that is the brush tool that is what I constantly use and you can pull up a little panel on the right over here of what kind of brush you want to use I only use the two basic brushes I use the kind of solid I use the solid one over here and I use the kind of faded one you know ones with uh, soft edges I use those two the most uh, but you can also go down and see all these brushes here there's so many different kinds of brushes that you can alter uh, let me go through the basic one so there's like the straight one you push down on it harder comes out like so there's this one see the total difference there's a soft edge and those matter so much. But then you go to like to a crazy brush here. You know, it kind of has a, you know, different flow to it. Just scroll across over here on the brush settings. If you can't, if this doesn't pop up on the right hand side, go over to Windows and then Brush. And it'll pop up over here. You can actually detach it from the sidebar and put it back onto the sidebar. You know, kind of move it around if you want. And you can change them at will. You know, there's all kinds of different brushes. That's one tool. That's the brush tool. The other tool I use a lot would be the lasso tool. And I use that a lot. The lasso tool. Um, you can press L on the keyboard. Or you can go to this little symbol right here. Right here. I don't know if you can see it. Go to that symbol, and what you can do is you can hold down, press down on it, and it'll give you a couple of options. It'll give you a magnetic lasso tool, which I never use, uh, but I use these two a lot. I use the lasso tool, the round one, and the polygon one. The round one basically allows you to select any organic kind of shape. I use that for organic shapes a lot, so I can, uh, one second. Oh, whoops, let me get a regular brush here while I'm doing this. So I selected that area, and so only that area is going to be affected by what I put down. So that tool can be very useful. Uh, it's actually one of uh, my favorite tools, the lasso tool. I use it constantly to get kind of like, see those kind of edges. Also, you can use the polygon tool. So that's if you want something like, let's say you want a side of an octagon, right? You don't want to trace it out. Like that's for more of a polygon tool. It's really just a hard, uh, you know, square edge tool versus a more organic like the other. Um, I use both a lot. I recommend using both a ton, and it's it's a lot of people's favorite tool, by the way. So just rem remember that tool, the lasso tool, over here. Lasso. Just press L. The other thing I use uh, a lot would be layers, and I'm going to go over that right now. I even actually kind of touch on layers on its on its own video, but layers is basically uh, what it is. What it's, you know, and every program has this. Uh, most programs have this. 
but let's say I was drawing that and then I drew that layer over it and let's say I mess up and I don't want it anymore I just kinda delete that layer and I don't have uh, any mistakes anymore you know let me make that more clear if I draw let's say whatever outline of a character blah 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 hello in my little crappy character uh, if I draw the outline of a character and then I go over it what I can do is I can actually create a new layer if you go to the bottom right hand screen of this little box of this toolbox over here this uh, I press new layer it's like a little page looks like a little folded page I press new layer and I form the new layer above that you have to keep uh, pay attention to what layer you have selected because sometimes I I'm drawing and I'm doing it totally in the wrong layer you have to select the right layer and I would go over this let's say with more detail kinda like I do in my drawings and let's say I'm gonna give them eyes now I'm gonna put in some shadow you know what I mean and I'll do a full demo later but right now I'm just gonna do this crummy little you know junk just to show you what I'm talking about to make a point so let's say I do something like that whatever and let's just say I made a mistake and I'm like oh man I don't really want that light source anymore I want a different light source I want it to be totally in shadow I could literally go over this layer and just you you don't have to see it anymore you can press that little eyeball and you can either not see it for the moment or you can just straight up delete it and that's it and then you know create a new layer and start again you know what I mean layers is like one of the more basic things you know like it's so important uh, really amazingly important uh, the other tool I use the most, and I'll just go over this last one, would be this one, the gradient tool in the paint bucket. So let's say I have something uh, selected, and there's also a selection tool over here, top left, way to the top left, the real basic box. So if I want to create a gradient, which I do sometimes for landscapes, I will take that gradient tool, get two colors I want, and you can throw that gradient in immediately and then while you're doing that you can throw like a foreground in with the lasso tool Boom. Boom. and then you keep using that gradient and throw that in there you know what I mean maybe you can make start making some mountains you know that gradient tool is really useful and the paint bucket tool is self-explanatory that that's basically where you have a, a layer selection and then you c fill in that entire selection with a solid color uh, remember the color panels over here don't forget which one the one on top is your main color and the, I think the tertiary one is the one behind it that should be like the background color so be careful about that because sometimes that mixes me up and uh, that's kinda a short little idea of the tools I use. These are really basically, I mean I use other tools but these are the primary tools that I use constantly like when I'm painting. Throughout painting I'm just constantly using these. Uh, I'm gonna also make little tiny videos on each individual tool. So and then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do at the very end is I'm gonna make like maybe one long hour long video of just going over everything. Uh, just so you have that option. Anyways guys continue the next video. I'll uh, try to link it here when it's up and uh, talk to you later.